See you today. Brother Harry. Heavenly Father, O Supreme Being, O Divine Light, Almighty Authority, we are children who have gathered here this evening, are embodiments of peace, embodiments of love, your messengers of peace and love, O Supreme Being. We seek your divine light upon all of us who have gathered here this evening. May your rays of divine love, may your compassion and caring feeling radiate upon each and every one of us. Empower the beings of each and every one of us so that we too will be able to emanate that peace and love, that light that transmits from you to us. O Supreme Being, we seek your divine blessings upon all of us who have gathered here this evening for this long service award for members of staff of the Napari Mabul, O Supreme Being. As a compassionate Lord, as caring, the remover of sorrow and bestow of happiness, you have guided and protected us over many, many years since the inception of 1962 when this Napari Mabul was constructed. At the times that were not so good, you have lifted us and you have walked with us. Today, as we acknowledge those who have served this facility for many years, Father God, I ask you to bless them. Continue to give them the health and strength for they have given to this country in no immeasurable way. I ask you to continue to bless them and their families. Almighty being, I ask you to especially bless as well the CEO, the Chairman, the Board of Directors of this facility, the Dapari Mabol. Continue to give them the strength, the foresight, the health, so that they too will continue to manage these facilities, which are an instrument for serving the people of our beloved Trinidad and Tobago. Their God, especially at this time of the Christmas season, I ask that through your child, the Lord Jesus Christ, that his message must be deeply embedded in the lives of each and every one of us, of caring, of sharing. Touch each and every one of us in such a way so that at the end of this function here today, we all leave inspired, as if your hand of blessing is truly upon each and every one of us. We give thanks to you for all that you have showered, all that you have bestowed upon each and every one of us and continue to touch us internally as well as externally so that we continue to be the messengers of peace, the messengers of love, to create a beautiful Trinidad and Tobago so that in the years ahead we continue to live in a nation where there is only peace, love and harmony. We once again seek your divine blessings this evening so that the events planned for this program must be one that is free from any untowards activities. We thank you, and may your peace and love continue to dwell within our hearts and around us. Thank you.
And now we are going to have a welcome address, and I would like to welcome to the podium the CEO of Naparima Bowl, Ms. Camille Ramjohn. Brother Harry, head of the interreligious organization, past board members, present board member, long service awardees, colleagues of Naprima Bowl, specially invited guests, good afternoon and welcome to Naprima Bowl. Let me first sincerely apologize for our late start. This afternoon we assemble here to recognize and honor the commitment and dedication of long standing employees. Some of them have given 10, 15, and even 30 years of service to Napi Mabul, and it is an honor for me to be part of this significant occasion. In recognition of the contribution of these members of staff, the Board of Directors and the management of Napi Mabul agreed that such dedicated service should not go unnoticed and must be shared amongst their peers and family members. I offer my personal congratulations to all the awardees as their continuous and continued efforts have significantly and positively impacted the institution of Naprima Bowl. As your leader, I am fully aware that your efforts and teamwork have shaped the bowl into the great organization it is today. This is evidenced by the numerous compliments we have received from our clients. I am sure that many of you throughout your long careers at this institution, and in spite of the many obstacles you have encountered, stayed on and continued to build this organization. By your dedication and hard work, you will be leaving some big shoes for newcomers to fill. Now, Prima Bowl, uh, for those of you who are not too familiar with us, is a 500-seat auditorium and one of the major theaters in Trinidad, offering state-of-the-art lighting and sound. Its operation is complemented by a team of dedicated, trained, and experienced professionals in the administrative, technical, and manipulative fields. Naprima Bowl is a home to a myriad of events such as drama, comedy, dance, musical, graduation, seminars, weddings, and we even had a funeral at one time. It is no surprise then that Naprima Bowl is the preferred venue in South Trinidad. At the moment, we are fully committed for 2015 and partly for 2016. Once again, I thank the awardees for their continued commitment, loyalty, and support. We salute and applaud you, and I look forward to working with you in the coming years. I also wish to thank your family and friends who have supported you throughout your tenure at Napi Bowl. Thank you, and please continue to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you very much, Ms. Ramjan. And my name is Damian Melville. I will be your Masters of Ceremony for this evening's proceedings. Right about now, we're going to have a performance, and I would like to welcome Ms. Patrice Richardson.
Thank you very much for the love you nearly showed to Patrice. I know you can do much better than that. And now we have the feature address, and I would like to welcome to the podium Ms. Deborah Jean Baptiste Samuel. Thank you very much. A very hearty and sincere good afternoon to you all. It is my honor and distinct joy to be here to share on this occasion. I begin by thanking Naparima Bowl for being Naparima Bowl. Simply what it is, a place where those who have passion and a love for the performing arts can feel at home. I thank you to Ms. Camille Ramjohn for your invitation. I wanted to applaud and salute all specially invited guests this evening. I specially want to give a high note of gratitude for those who have served and have served long. Long service is one of those opportunities that we have to serenade and note the distinguished contribution of those who have toiled for a number of years. In terms of the Naparima Bowl, the Naparima Bowl being uh, just over 50 years, those who have toiled, some of them may even recall those hair from the inception. And uh, I know from my own personal journey with my relationship with the Naparima Bowl, I have staged the Oratory Foundation, has staged the Oratory Series here. And this year, 2014, was Oratory 19. And so next year, 2015, which is upon us, will be Oratory 20 which means me and my youthful excitement, I have been able to stage 20 shows at the Naparima Bowl. So let us just look at that as a, a ray in the sunshine of opportunity for the performing arts. I stand over the orchestra pit and I vow to use the metaphor of the orchestra. I want all of you who will be receiving special mention and award to understand that each one, each life, is in fact an instrument. The contribution made is like an instrument in an orchestra. If you can imagine with me, lights, camera, action, this orchestra pit filled with one of the most fascinating orchestras, all instruments in tune and playing in harmony on cue and being conducted by one responsible, you will understand that that harmonic beauty of sound can only be possible if each instrument plays. And uh, we have violin, and we have cello, and we have uh, saxophone, and uh, we have triangle. We have drum, and we have piano. Each one making a distinct sound. And uh, that is the metaphor I've chosen to bring home the beauty and the awesome nature of what you do. Each employee of the Naparima Bowl is an instrument, an instrument of purpose, designed to make a unique sound. And all together, it will be harmony and melody. It will be philharmonic indeed. It is the power of commitment, as I share briefly with you this evening, and what is that, really? It is potential of personal pledge to purpose as promised and possible. That power you have within you has been given to you by Almighty God. Every person has a unique gift. And in your employ, you have the opportunity to unwrap such a gift. 
and with your commitment to the work that you have doing and you have done, we can reap the reward. And so that's why we thank you. We thank you for commitment over the years so that we can now stand tall and we can now stand proud. And we can leave a legacy of commitment to those who are now working. Those who have gone on and enjoying retirement, beautiful. Those are coming up who will one day be basking in the sunshine of such bliss. And until this, I'm here to encourage you not to cope, but rather to conquer. Not to accept, but rather to accelerate. Not to exist, but rather to excel. That steadfast hold, that attachment to the ideal, that personal pledge to purpose, to promise, is what makes the difference called excellence. It is that constancy. And that is the legacy that those who are committed will always leave behind. Names that we will remember associated with the Naparima Bowl are those who were committed to the task. I can call names. I remember when I staged oratory, the very first one. The staff behind the scene was a slightly different staff than what I have today. And those who've gone before were very committed. And those now have that as their legacy, as their ideal. So for the Naprima Bowl to continue to be a center of excellence, which is the center of excellence, it has to be that we continue to applaud commitment and dedication and aspire to maintain commitment and dedication. Instruments, we are each one. We can make music. For every life is an instrument. And every instrument makes a sound. There are all kinds of instruments, and some are big, some are small, some carry the melody, some only embellish, but if one does not play, the music is diminished. It is only your sound you can make, so make no mistake to worry with anybody else. Set your music with God and yourself. If you're a drum beat, if a saxophone plays sweet, if a flute, you can produce endless fruit. An instrument can have even more than one purpose when we allow God to use us. So if you were a piano, good for you. You've ministered to many people. Every instrument has its place in the orchestra here at the Naparima Bowl. We must allow divine direction in everything that we do. If we are not used for God's glory, it's a long, sad story. So whether you are trombone or a xylophone, if you're a clarinet or a trumpet, play. Play so we can dance to your rhythms. Play so that the combined sound, the combined effort of the work at the Naparima Bowl will sustain us. You may be sensational like a steel pan. You may be dramatic like an organ, or sedate like a cello, or racy like quattro and banjo. It may be loud like a trumpet to command attention or soft like a triangle in offering direction. Whatever you are, play and play lustily. Be sure you know that God depends on you to keep that tempo. All those who make use of the Naparima Bowl depend on you to keep that tempo.
He's given you talent and skill. And if you honor his will, there will be sweet music as never heard before. So let us be sure we make this contribution. The master conductor is before us. The board, the leaders, those are giving the cue for performance. So let us steady our eyes and let us focus. Most importantly, as I conclude, set your heart on him. He's expecting much from pan, from piano, and from violin. Trumpet and tuba and mandolin. Naparima bowl. Those who have served long and will receive reward this evening. Those who are coming up to follow in your footsteps. Remember, God really wants to use us and make us, each one, his instrument of purpose. I thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Prajan Batista Samuel. As we get ready to grace the stage, East Indian folk dance takes center stage, and this folk dance showcases the colorful skirts, pulsating rhythms, and stomping feet, which shows the celebration of village life. A dialogue carried through the folk dance can be read in the vibrant hand gestures and body movements. Typical to this dance is the spins, which are constantly changing in speed, constant formation of circles representing the unity of the people, showing a colorful diversity, but within the commonality of the Indian tradition, performing students of the Guru Sandra Sukhdeo. On stage, we are going to see Ashti Rudal, Laurel Bairosing, Rishma Ransaran, and Rajdeo Singh Bukhari. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome them.
Thank you very much, ladies. And now we're going to have an address. I would like to welcome the chairman of the Naparima Bowl, Mr. Ronald Bassant. Teacher, speaker, professor, Ms. Deborah Jean-Baptiste, CEO of Naparima Bowl, Ms. Camille Ramjohn, retirees, long service awardees, members of staff of Naparima Bowl, specially invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I'm standing here. They say when you have no locus standi, it means you don't stand in a place that you're not supposed to occupy. I want to correct the fact that I received an invitation from the CEO of Naprima Bowl saying the chairman and members of the board of Naprima Bowl. And to say that I don't want to usurp a position that I am not uh, officially occupying, but I'm serving, have been serving currently for the last 15, 18 months as interim slash acting chairman. Why? Because the official board went out somewhere around the middle of August of this year. But as they say, you must have a caretaker government in the absence of anything happening because the CEO cannot be alone to herself. And in terms for proper governance and guidance, one would stand in and say, well, we're doing this just to keep continuity alive. So I'm making this quite clear that I'm standing here, but my heart, like the other members of the board and other previous boards, has been with the Naprima Bowl in terms of the length of service for which a board is appointed. But when he, whenever people demit office, it has been a painful experience that um, they are forced, in voted commas, to stay on to provide that kind of continuity. Why? Because Naprima Bowl is integral, is very important, it's the heartbeat, it is the place looked to, I call it the sanctuary of the arts, or for the arts. So that, without which, the possibilities to make things possible and to make things happen will not take place if you don't have governance, proper governance. And we know that in these days and in these times, transparency, honesty, etc., etc., are asked of people who are sitting on boards and to be able to provide that kind of leadership. At the same time, to inspire those for whom they are too responsible to, to ensure that the job gets done. It gives me great pleasure, having said that though, to continue to serve, I wouldn't say in a vacuum, but in the sense that we know what we're about here, the board that has been sitting, and those of us who have stayed back, there are three people here who are signatories, so that we serve our internal and our external customers, and we keep things going. The staff knows only too well that we felt that the time has come for Naprimbo World to be on the cutting edge of what we call the state of the art, whatever that means in terms of theater, performances, etc., etc. And those of us who have grown, and Ms. Deborah Jambati said this, maybe she'll be around for oratory 50. We do hope. Um, the way she's going, you know, that's very possible. We feel that we need to change with the times, and um, we have the old guard who are going, but they're leaving, as she said before, legacy, because in this life, you need to do two, two, four things. To live, to learn, to love, and leave a legacy. And they're all integrated, not separated, not feed into each other. And I think if you use that as a yardstick to measure what Naprima Bowl is about, in terms of those who keep it going all the time, and the board is just there to govern, the staff who are here, from those who sweep the grounds, to those who are working in the lighting booth, those who are providing the backstage support, those who are ushering, even those who are parking the cars and so on, every man jack has a very important role to play. And it has been said here before this evening, without which you don't have that kind of symphonic beauty. Of course, if there's discord, you will review to see where and who was not doing the right or striking the right note. And that, that's something that we have to continuously keep working on at Naprima Mobile. If we have to get it right, we need to stop, think, be guided, we need to be mentored, we need to be coached, we need to be given the right tools, we need to be given the right kind of approach, and we need to be listening more than talking at times. As they say, communication is the key to imparting knowledge, to be able to allow people to see things the way they're supposed to see them, to change attitudes and to be able to see things that will work for them and the things that are not working, they may need the guidance. So I want to say to the staff who are here this evening receiving the long service awards, I know that 
he would only have good things to say about Napoleon Mabul. We all not have all the days that'll be rosy and full of, you know, all the promises and all the things that we want to have and have them the way we want them. At times, sometimes we have to swallow, swallow the bitter pill and sometimes we need to change, you know, the way we see things and to adapt to them. It's a learning process in terms of working from day to day and working for years. And um, I know for a fact, when I was the CEO of Napoleon Bowl here, we tried a lot of new things. They worked for a while, people got accustomed to them, and um, people were carping, they were you know, critical and so on, but eventually they came around. Some people left, some continued to work, and so on. And one of the things we have been trying to do um, in the, in the last five years, to constantly upgrade not only the physical surrounds and the building and the equipment and so on, which we are doing continuously, but also the human resource element, the people who work here. And we are providing training, all types of training, to all the, the staff from the top to the bottom. And we continuously develop that because we feel that um, they need to have the necessary knowledge, skills, etc., in order to be able to be <clears throat> delivering a service that is par, par excellence and second to none, always raising the bar to ensure that our customers are satisfied. And when you have dissatisfied customers, those are the ones you need to listen to very carefully because sometimes they always have the finger on the pulse of what we didn't do and what we need to do better. So sometimes you might say, Lord, I can't understand, you know, this person, they're always giving trouble. Okay, but we are always striving for perfection, as they say, trifles make perfection, but perfection is no trifle, it's not a small thing. And I think Deborah Jean Baptiste said that this evening, and I want to endorse that because the fact is, we always have to keep striving, members of staff, to do our best in terms of what is expected of us in terms of every production that gets into the Naparima Bowl or into the amphitheater as a matter of fact. So I want to say that this year has been a very challenging year to both the staff who I know has worked very hard and they've gone all, I mean I've been in here on various occasions and I see them doing things, you know, people say, well, they're holding a broom and what are they doing? The broom is standing by itself. We don't have that kind of thing here. Um, or we want to change certain things and um, we get the staff to buy into it and that's, that's important because they need to know that the job they're doing is very important, no matter how small it may seem or how people look at them. The important thing is it helps make Napa Bowl holistic in terms of what we are delivering and we want to ensure that the customers leave here fully satisfied. So the year began by us having to think about the changes that we thought may have happened within the last 15 or 20 years that never happened and I'm saying this publicly because governments come and governments go and they have neglected Napoleon Bowl. And when they did have the opportunity, nobody did anything. So we had a call, the board, in April of this year and we were asked to come up to the ministry and pre present what we thought we wanted to see for a newly redeveloped Napoleon Bowl. We had a meeting with the minister and the permanent secretary and his technical people, and when we were through, he said he was all we're going to do it. I left there feeling as though I had not lived for all these years, and having heard that, I said, well, what do we do? We said phase one, phase two, and phase three. We don't want something costing 600 million, and we don't get the whole thing done. If you look around Napoli Mobile, you, there is physical proof of what we have done in phase one. Albeit, there is still the covering for the amphitheater. Not a total covering, then it will no longer be an amphitheater. It's a stylized thing that we want to put on there. So that it can be year-round functional and viable as another space that we have there. We have um, created, a, well not created, because since 2008 or 2009, we bought that property at the bottom of Nafrima College and it belongs to the board legally. And we have uh, you know, um, enclosed it and we're going to have that as parking and as another point of exit 
entrance because we only have one to get out here after the show will be like you know two hours after the show is finished you're still trying to get the lights and get out in addition next to that a little higher up we have paved and we have additional spaces where you could probably have as we used to have long time large fets and bazaars and gatherings and so on so if you if you look behind the main office you'll see those spaces even so that is just part of phase one phase two will be to have um, the additional space that were knocked down by Udicott in 2005, December of 2005, and they did absolutely nothing for one whole year. I met the then Minister Julian Williams in 2007 with Calder Hart in her office on the 5th of February 2007, and she said, what's happening? I said, absolutely nothing, and then Calder Hart looked at me and I said, maybe you should ask him. Then she said, well, I'll give you a call. I like to say these things because this is not politicking. This is denial of what belongs to the people. And we remain like that 7, 8, 9, 10. I left here in 2010, one week, 10th, uh, the 17th of um, May, I think it was, or April, before the elections then. Um, I was pleasantly recalled to serve on the board. And I felt, because I told the dead minister, I am going to work for the people. And that's what I tell all the politicians all the time. I will work for the people, notwithstanding. And the people here know that we are working for the people, the stakeholders of the board, notwithstanding who they are, because they are the people who make here a life, because they are the ones who are helping to change the mindset of all the people who come here. And what they do is the power of the arts that speak to people helps transform them very quietly, surreptitiously, but very deeply, and it moves them to think differently. I'm not saying it's a miracle that 80% of the people here will leave and change their minds. But when you think about the young people who need to be brought into spaces here, our second phase will be dedicated rooms for music, dance, and drama. We want to have an exhibition gallery for painting, photography. San Fernando doesn't have any. None. Port of Spain have six and seven galleries. They have a museum. Why can't we? So, Nabrima World is going to be something that will be a home for all the arts, even literary arts, so, you know, outdoor readings. We want to use the amphitheater for the national instrument. In the days gone by, they used to have Steve Ban concerts here. It's something we need to think about. So, I'm saying all this because the staff will have greater roles to perform. And we will continue to increase the capacity in terms of you know, more people, trained people working at the Naparima Bowl. And then the way things are going now, the SCA and, and the teaching of the arts in the, in the secondary schools, we can see that they have realized that in order to have a very good individual coming out of a primary or secondary school or even a tertiary institution, they will come out having a sensitive mind to know the power the transforming power of the arts. And this is what Navarimbo Bowl is all about. I was coming here in a taxi this evening, and I told the guy I wanted to go to Navarimbo Bowl. So he changed his direction, is driving up to the street and says, we reach. I said, not supper, Navarimbo Bowl. He said, oh gosh. I said, but this has been here for 50, 54. I don't know how he lost it. But, um, when you get lost like that, it means to say that um, if you're losing your focus, well, in Naparimo Bowl, we have not lost our focus. We are dedicated to expanding the physical capacity of the place in order to you know, allow more people to come. I mean, people who don't know all the groups, except for some dance groups and a few other groups who are still performing, have left Splinter, they've gone to Port of Spain. People like Spangalang used to make his name here. Penelope Spencer was a dancer with Arawa, she's now a full-time actress. Uh, there are a number of people who have gone abroad, who have doing other things. So we want to bring back people to the fold here to be able to ensure that they can stay at home and create. And this world has served local, regional, and international performances for all of its 50 years. So the staff here, let me say that um, it gives me great pleasure to know that you have served well, you have served industriously, you continue to serve, and I hope that the leadership you provide for those who you
Look after those who you mentor, those who you coach, or those who you supervise. They will look up to you. Of course, at times you need to make them bite the bullet. You need to make them see the things that they need to be focusing upon, and you need to encourage them to think about what kind of... Um, Deborah spoke about commitment. Choice and conscience are the other, two other C's. What choices are you making? Are you going to stay at one level in Napa Rima Bowl? Or if you want to climb the ladder of ascendancy, well then, if your attitude is not good, your altitude, your ability to rise is going to suffer as a result of that. So you need to think carefully about that. And I'm talking about the younger people. Um, we just had a gentleman here, Mr. Saunders, who is the stage manager, and he brought in, was it last week? A diploma in events management to do with the performing arts, George Washington University by distance learning and I think he is a retiree but not retired he has fit new tires and he's going ahead again so you don't retire on yourself when you know you have a mission is not complete and if the maestro up there says your mission is not complete just ask him for an extension so ladies and gentlemen awardees and special guests and Ms. Deborah Jarbatis let me thank you on behalf of the members of the ex-board who are now occupying spaces here to ensure the continuity of the Naprimo Bowl. And I want to thank you for the time to share with you some of the things we are doing at Naprimo Bowl, have done and what we're visioning, and to say that without a staff that is dedicated, committed, and we all, always share with the staff what the board is doing. I feel the need to know because sometimes they say there's a dichotomy or distance between the board and the workers, and I personally feel they need to be brought in line so they know exactly what they're doing, how important it is to us the total delivery of a service that we can be proud of when we get the good feedback, and not so good feedback, from our stakeholders. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Renaud. Bassat and sir, could you join, sir? <laughs> As we get ready to give out the awards. Mr. Muhammad began at Naparima Bowl at, as the courier from 2002, a position he continues to hold. Mr. Mohammed has been a doubling up, uh, doubling up sorry, as the driver courier since 2013 when the bowl acquired its official vehicle. Mr. Mohammed has served in Naparima Bowl for 12 years. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our first awardee, Mr. Nasruddin Mohammed. Thank you very much, Mr. Bassant, as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Bassant. And I would like to welcome Ms. Anita Smith Hansel, who will be presenting the second award. Anita Smith Henzi. Henzi? Sorry. I humbly apologize. Our second awardee, Mrs. Kennedy has been employed at the Bowl since 2000. She started as the clerk stenographer too, but practically performed the duties of the secretary and the booking clerk. As the booking officer, Mrs. Kennedy ensured that her clients, as she likes to call them, receives all the support and assistance they needed. 
In March 2010, after compulsory retirement, the Board of Directors retained her services as our Customer Service Relation Officer. She continues to hold this position. Mrs. Kennedy has served an upper room board for 14 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Jean Kennedy. I am trusting the pronunciation I got backstage for this name. Ms. Patricia Lanz Searcher, am I right? Yes. Who will be giving out the next award? And the awardee, Ms. Ramjohn. Tenure at Naparima Bowl started in 2000. Ms. Ramjohn was first hired to work on the accounting project um, um, marked by the Board of Directors. After a few months, the Board felt it was a prudent to hire an accountant officer full-time rather than continuing to outsource the accounts. The position of accounting assistant was advertised and Ms. Ramjohn was hired. In 2004, the post was upgraded to that of accountant which Ms. Ramjohn held up to December 20, sorry, 2011. On January 1st, 2012, Ms. Ramjohn officially became the Chief Executive Officer, which post she also acted in from January 2010 to December 2011. Ms. Ramjohn has served the Naparima Bowl for 14 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Camille Ramjohn. to welcome to give out the next award, Mr. Wiener Polaya. And the next awardee, Mr. Ramfall began work at the Naparima Bowl as a watchman in 1983, a post he continues to hold at present. Mr. Ramfall has served the Naparima Bowl for 31 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Prim Ramfall. Thank you very much. I would like to ask to give out the next award, Mr. Mohammed Hosai. And the next awardee. Mr. Balgobin started at the Naparima Bowl as a laborer in 1982 and a few months later was promoted to the post of agricultural foreman. In 2008, he was promoted to the position of general foreman, a position he continues to hold. Mr. Ram Logan has served the Naparima Bowl for 32 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kim Karan Balgobin. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's show some love for all our awardees this evening.
Now we go to performance. Once again, a young lady out of the Pleasantville Secondary School, presently at, in Form 1, coming to give us another selection of song. Let's welcome Miss Patricia Richardson. Thank you very much, Patricia. Sorry, Patrice. As we get ready now to give out some special awards, and we are asking Brother Harry to please come to accept a special award. And Brother Harry is a representative of the Interreligious Organization.
And now we'd like to welcome Ms. Camille Ramjohn. the CEO of the Naparima Bowl. Ms. Patrice Richardson. I'd like to welcome Mr. Renald Bassant. for all our special awardees. And now we'd like to welcome to the podium to give us the vote of thanks, and I would like to welcome Mr. Wayne Pulayo. Former members of the board of the Naparimo Bowl, Our featured speaker, Ms. Deborah Javatist, the CEO, Ms. Camille Ramjan, awardees, special guests, ladies and gentlemen. I have been asked to do a vote of thanks which I consider being very honorable. I want to first thank those who asked me to do it, since it gives me the opportunity to let you, the members of the Naparima Bowl family, understand how I feel about you. Thanks is a one-syllable small word that has a meaning that is as big as the world. It is not one of those words that we here at the Naparima Bowl see as a watchword, but it is something that becomes, that has become a part of our culture. We are always grateful to all of you. I want to thank the Fiti address speaker, Ms. Deborah Jabatist. And I just want to remind us all that even when we consider ourselves down in the pit, if we play our instrument in the right way, beautiful things can happen coming out from there. Brother Harry, representative of the Interreligious organization. Thank you very much for your prayer. And I would pray that I knew God answered them, heard them, 
but I will pray too that he will answer so that we will be beneficiaries of his grace. The performers, very special thanks to you. You help to make this evening's proceedings very warm. Mr. Bassant, former chairman, thank you for your address. Awardees, thank you for your years of service and for those that you will continue to give. But as I tell you, thank you, I also want to extend that gratitude and for those who are not here, that you will take it back to your families, particularly at this time of year when the bowl is busy every evening and during the day sometimes. We know that families want to be together. So therefore it is a very big sacrifice for you to leave home to come here to work day after day, morning, sometimes come back in the evening into the night. And therefore I also want to say thank you to your families for making that sacrifice to ensure that you are here so that we can serve our stakeholders. To the office staff, the members of the committee who organized and planned this entire program, I want to say a hearty thank you. To the photographers, to the security people outside, to the ushers, everybody. We really appreciate your effort. And those are the efforts that keep Naparima Bowl this sacred institution. And I say sacred because it is a gift from God. I want to thank those people who did the decorations, those who assisted. And at this point, I want to say in particular that it is all members of the Naparima Bowl family and therefore, I wish to extend my heartfelt thanks. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you very much, Mr. Polaya. And with that, we have come to the end of our formal part of the Naparima Bowl award service ceremony right here at Naparima Bowl and I find for staff of Naparima Bowl you guys very quiet boy oh okay then well this aspect of it is over thank you very much so now I think you will be the ushers will indicate to you where you can go now to refresh yourselves. Thank you very much. My name is Damian Melville. I have season greetings to you, compliments of the season on your way home. Please be extremely careful. Good night.
on camera. Is that fox man? Gotcha, gotcha, at last. 